Hi guys, some of you have been asking for ages for me to do a little Pilates video, so because it's grim outside, I found time to do some strength conditioning and stuff with this stuff with you. So we're going to start on all fours, lower tummy engaged, one leg out, we're going to lift and lower. So you're thinking about glute activation, none of this. We're just going to keep thinking slow and controlled, engage at the bum, lengthening through the neck. Then we're going to come out to the side, lift and lower that knee. the eyes forward. The more you can pull that lower tummy in, the more resistance you're going to do. And you might even start feeling it on this supporting leg. And we're doing between 12 and 16 reps. One inch movement with this one. And then you're going to come up, flex through the foot, squeeze through the glute, push that knee away. And that heel comes up and slightly out. You'll be feeling it in that glute now. Then you're going to straighten the leg. Opposite hand comes up. We're going to add a little bit of balance to it. We've got to really engage that core to stabilise. Two more. Three more. Good. And this hops that So straight through the leg. Lift and lower. Keep the knee ever so slightly twisted out. Eyes forward, lengthening through the neck. Now it's having pulled in. The more you pull that tummy in, the more you feel the resistance for the glue. Good. One more. And then the knees come level, bring it out to the side. So try and keep the other hip as level as you can and the shoulders square. So you're not rotating the whole body. It's just a glute exercise. Good. Two more. And then pull the foot up, hold through the heel. Push that bottom leg into the ground. Again, lower tummy pulled in. Good. Correct glute activation is great, not just for riding, but for also protecting your back. You want that to be firing first. Good. Three more on your balance exercise. Well done. Now we're gonna come onto our side. We're gonna have hand on your hip. We're gonna lift and lower that leg. So up to you where you want to put the hand placement. You can put it in front of you for your wobbling around. Make sure that your head is on your arm, not like this, because it curves your spine. And then you're going to bring both legs in together. And you're going to lift the lower. It's quite an interesting one to see which side you're more mobile on, because this one shows up quite a lot. I'm definitely better on this side. Two more. Good, then you're gonna bend the bottom leg, keep the top leg straight, elbow underneath shoulder, knee, hip, elbow in alignment, lift and lower that bottom hip. Get your hair out your eyes. My hair will get, I mean it's messy anyway, but it's gonna get messy all the way through, so by the end of it, I look like I've fallen out of the hedge. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, you lift that top leg. So you should feel it far into the bottom of the glutes, a little bit in the other side of the obliques, and in that top glute if you've got that leg up. Good. Well done. Bring it down. Swap sides. So again, stack through the hips, stack through the shoulders, find that balance, toes and hands pointed, lift and lower the top leg. Good. Try and keep thinking, be careful that you're not slightly tilted forwards here. Quite often I see people in class that are. And then you want to bring both legs together and lift and lower. So it's, it's not a nice one if you've got a bit of a bony bar. If you do, you can whack a pillow underneath it. But we'll just grit teeth. It would be more pain than falling off a horse. Good. Two more. And then we're going to bend the bottom leg, elbow underneath shoulder, hands on hips, lift up. Lift and lower through the hips, keeping those glutes engaged slightly, so you're keeping the hips forwards and in line. If you want to, add that top leg to keep pushing. You might find yourself slipping in this one, so if you do, just readjust, make sure that elbow stays underneath the hip, so that you're nice and correct. Good. One more. Good. Then we're going to tap the tummy. So it's lying on your back, feet towards your bum. One leg up, other leg up. 
I'm gonna pull that lower tummy in so your back's pushed into the mat. Hands here or put a pillow behind your neck. You're gonna come up and down. You're not pulling the head up, you're trying to rip your head off. You're shortening for your abdominals. Then you're gonna hold it up, then you're gonna just walk one leg away, and then the other leg away. Trying to keep that lower tummy engaged so your back stays pushed into the mat. If you want to make it slightly easier, you can make the movement smaller. If you want to make it harder, make it a little bit bigger. And if you can keep that lower back in the mat, you always test yourself and do it with straight legs. Again, if your neck's starting to ache, you pop a pillow and a cushion underneath it. Good. One more each leg. Good. Then arms down by the side. If you need a little rest, have a little rest. But you're going to try and do little circles. And the control part of it is on the way down, you're trying to keep it slow and controlled. So you want the circles kind of bicycle width, well, not bicycle width, bicycle wheel width, otherwise it'll be massive. Change direction, lifting that tailbone up off the mat, opening through the lower back. Three more. Should be feeling that kicking into your lower tummy. And if you don't, the next one definitely will, so you're just going to pulse up. Done four, got four more left. Keep pushing up. You should be really feeling that in your lower tummy. Last one. Let's have a little rest. Stretch it out. Redress yourself. <laughs> then we're going to bring both knees, feet in. Both up again. Elbows out to the side. And come across. And straight into the leg. We're going to do three one side and three the other side. Good. Relax the legs down, stretch up, arch through the back, take a deep breath in so you're stretching through the abs, and then arms down by the side, feet towards the bum, tuck your tailbone under, and then you're going to lift and lower in that glute bridge. So if this is enough, you can stay here just doing this. If you want to make it a little bit harder, we're going to come across with the leg and do some single leg group bridges. So you're pushing through the heel, try to keep that leg stable, don't wobble about. Two more on this side, and then we're going to swap sides. Put the other leg down, heel comes across, pushing you down, lift and lower. So you get that squeeze in that glute. Keep the weight into the shoulders and it's your heel. Three more. Last one. Up. Get it through both knees to the chest. And you're just going to rock yourself up. So from here, we're going to keep the legs out and we're just going to touch in our Russian twist with the elbows. You want to make it easier, make it smaller, or come a little bit higher, harder, go a bit lower, or straighten the arm as you're coming round to add a little bit more resistance. Super strong. Good. One more each side. Well done. Then you can take your hands in an L shape, put by your bum, try and pinch your shoulders as far together as you can. If this is a bit much, you can do this on your back. Legs up. We're just going to cycle. Nice and elegantly. <laughs> and we're going to change directions, so stooping down. If this is too high, you can go higher, make it harder, go lower. But again, make sure it's not kicking into the lower back if you've got to be attacking your abs. Okay. Press these in, let's do that. Keep it cool these. Last one. Get to lower the legs. Have a little stretch. Well done, arch through that back. Then you're going to roll onto your front. And this is what's going to help you in the saddle, sitting up a little bit taller. So it's just as important to work your upper back as it is to work your abs. So come up, pinch your shoulders in, and lower. So it's the shoulder blades that are coming together and down the back. Good. 
do one more like this. Good. And then you're going to bring both arms out to the side, so you're like an aeroplane shape. You're going to bring up. So same thing with the shoulders. Think about bringing the shoulder blades together and down the back. So you're pinching the elbows slightly together as you come coming up. And then we're going to come up and hold it up. And we're going to rotate one way and then the other way. So you're opening up through the chest, trying to keep that opposite hand down on the ground, um, off the ground even. And then you're going to add an opposite arm, opposite leg. So squeezing with the glute, with the leg that's coming up. And we'll do two more on each side. Really pinching that back. One more each side. Good, and then both arms out in front. And we're gonna do the same thing like this. Lift and lowering that opposite arm and leg. Good. Keep the eyes out in front. And then down on the mat. Good. Then both up together, four times. Last time, good. Hands down, toes underneath. We're gonna push up into our cobra, and then up into our downward dog. Good, so pushing through the hands, through the heels, and then we're gonna try and get a stretch through the calves, in the back of the legs, and then open through the chest. So lift one leg up into a split, or just split up. Bend it, open up through the hips. Still pushing through the heels and through the palms of the hand. Then this leg down, this leg up. Nice click of the back. And then open up that hip again. Just sink right into it. Squeezing that glute to open the hip a bit more. And then coming down. We're going to go up this way. And then down. And do this as gently as you need to. Then down. And then we're going to walk with the hands out in front and try and get our chest down on the ground. This is called puppy pose. And you want to try and open up that upper back as you're coming down. And then slide through, up into your cobra, relaxing through the glutes, shake the legs off. Up, so you're pushing your hips down towards the mat. And then down into your child's pose. So knees wide, hands drag out in front. Good. Then we're going to come up into a lunge. So when you're in your lunge, you take one leg forward, dropping the hip forward, lifting through the chest. It's important that you lift through the chest so you get this whole part of your quad. Otherwise, as you can feel you're not going to get the top. If you want to increase the stretch, add the butt leg in. But again, kick the chest up and get, engage the glute a little bit. Get actively pushing those hips forward. Make sure you're not here. It's got to be tall. Good. Slowly lower the back leg. Straighten the front leg. Keep the toe pointed. Belly button down first. Not like this. Keeping the back as flat as you can. Flex the foot and pull that leg in. Get a nice stretch through here. Add the flexion of the foot, it's going to fit you a little bit more. There. Good. Sweep that leg back and round. Swap legs, come forwards. Drop down through the hip. Good. Keep the chest tall again if you want to. Add the back, back foot in. You might feel uncomfortable on the knee. If you can roll over it, normally you're going to miss out when you can't do what you want to do. So you might need this leg slightly more forward to allow you to do that. But again, you don't have to lift that leg up, but you've got to keep the chest up. Keep pushing those hips down. Straighten through the front leg. Belly button first, then the chest. Keep the eyes just in front of the toes. Flex the foot, bring it in. Then so we're going to bring this leg across this leg. So we're going to glute stretch. We're going opposite elbow to the front knee. And we're just sitting tall on the floor. But the taller you can sit, the more you're going to feel it stretch and open through that glute. So you want to pull that knee into the chest, almost arch your back, push your belly button into that leg. 
you rotate. If you want it slightly easier, rotate less. Or you can keep this leg straight. And then swap legs, so this leg bent, this leg comes over. Elbow on the knee, and lift the chest. Keep thinking the taller you know, or the better the stretch. Push the thumb down, chest up. Then you're going to come into your genie pose, so both feet together, elbows into your things, your things, your thighs, that would help, um, or into your knees. If you're flat in this one, sit on a block or a cushion. It's weird when a horse rides it, you think it'll be really tight there, but it varies. Some people are really flexible, some people aren't. I'm clearly not. And then you're going to straighten one leg out. Up to you what you do with this leg. If you can't get it behind you, leave it here. If you can, open up that hip. Just rearrange your bum so you're sat on your hip, on your seat bone. Pull the bum out of the way if you need to. Opposite hand down the outside of the leg. Again, belly button, in the chest, and then the chin. If you can always get this low, you can put a block on to lift this leg up. And flexing the foot also increases that stretch. And then you're going to put the hand here, this elbow, this shoulder towards the floor here. So you're hitting different parts of the hamstrings to keep the legs nice and flexible. Good. And then swap sides. So this leg comes straight, this leg bends. Opposite hand, again. Gotta whip my bum out of the way. This one down. I'm not as flexible on this side. It's always interesting to see which side you're more flexible on. Then belly button down, then the chin down. Arms stem forward. Flex the foot if you want a little bit more. And then the opposite hand comes across. And this elbow pushes down. Oh, shoulder. It's still a shoulder. Don't want to keep pulling that elbow. Sweep round. We're going to come up with both hands, open the tool. And then bring them back down behind you, push them down. So you're opening up through the chest, pinching the shoulder blades together, like so. Good. And then you're going to bring one hand behind your back and you're going to top your neck away from there. So you're trying to get your ear on your opposite shoulder, get a nice stretch through here. And then we're going to look down towards the outside of the hip. And then come up and level, other arm comes across, pulls in ear to shoulder. You don't want to look too far down or too far up, keep it quite level. And then you can drop your eyes down to the outside of the hip. Good. And then both the arms even, little roll in front, and you are done. Well done.